Hey YouTube, Bernard here from Weekly How and in this video, we're gonna be learning how to display Shopify images. So this is actually a very easy tutorial, especially if you already know how to use Shopify API. However, if in case you don't know how to use Shopify API, then we're here to guide you on how to use it. All the way, I recommend you guys to watch the previous tutorials on how to set up Shopify apps and how to use Shopify repository that we're currently using. Also, if in case you don't have if in case you have questions you can always write in the comments below you can always ask or you may also contact us on our official website at weeklyhell.com the links are all in the description by the way so you can always check that out so please yeah visit us don't hesitate to visit us and give us a call or give us a message or whatever okay so we'll continue the series let's open index.php and let's take a look at the progress that we actually made in the last tutorial okay so this is actually the index.php that we have created in the last tutorial. We have gathered the data from Shopify store and then we used collection API, custom collection API, and then we took collection ID and then we used this data to to get another to use another uh, API which is the collects API. So if you're wondering what is the difference between collects and then collection, custom collections. From what I can remember, from what I said, there's actually two collections. The custom collection and then the smart collection. So yeah, so this is pretty much it. Uh, smart collection, I, I believe, and this is custom collection. And after that, we made a loop for each loop and then we took... We used collect variable and then we converted as collect variable and then we used that to make another for each loop. Let's take a look at our Shopify app, shall we? All right, so actually this is the app that we have created in the last tutorial. Uh, what we're going to do in, in this tutorial is to display Shopify images. So just real quick, All right? So let's go to our Shopify uh, documentation. Let's make images API. Let's use that product images actually you can also use this using product api from what i can remember but uh i i highly recommend to use product images api instead because you have much control over it instead of just product api so let's take a look at the product api instead for a while for a little bit just a little bit okay so what you can do with this product api is to you can get obviously the list of the products all the products you can count how many products you have you can retrieve a single product you can also create a new product you can update and you can delete uh these are the properties uh, obviously we have the description the date for the product the handle which is this actually really useful especially for uh, URLs and stuff like that. Also, this for the ID was really useful as well. So this is what I'm talking about. Images. So this is the actual image for each product. So this is the only data you can have. The date, the width, the height, and then the default image. But however, with product images, you have much control of how of what you can retrieve. So let's take a look at the product image API. So over here, you can do the same thing. You can get, you can retrieve, you can create a new image, and then you can modify, and you can delete. So the properties, the date, ID, which positions the image, or you can the order. So the order of the product image in the list. The first product image is at the position number one. So by default, that is one. So we, you don't have to get that. It depends. It depends on what type of app you're creating. Um, okay, so we have product ID over here, variance ID, which is actually really useful. And one of the, I mean, SRC, that's what we need. So we have here the URL of the image, and you can also like uh, modify the size of this image. So, for example, add small to URL to the file name so you can get the uh, 100 pixel wide and height anyway yeah we're going to use src to get the image so let's do that shall we let's start let's go back to our shopify uh index.php what I, that's what i'm trying to say okay so let's create a variable over here and you know what let's get rid of this we don't need the collection id we don't need that uh over here let's make a new variable you know what let's make a comment over here Var um 
uh, product titles and I mean product titles and product images and let's create a new variable let's call this image and then empty string over here let's make title and let's make an empty string and then over here underneath the products variable let's make um let's make another another shopify call from what i can remember okay so let's take image yes is equal to shopify let's copy this let's just copy this and then let's paste it over here let's also copy this yeah let's copy that put it over here change products to images this one as well and over here we have shopify call token that is good shop that is good um the api call the url let's change it to images over here let's just add slash then images because we need the product id over here so let's take a look at the api over here so over here we have uh, slash admin API 2019 or 10 then products then the actual product ID and then images.json so that's what actually we're going to use so you can actually copy this just make sure you replace product ID the actual product ID okay let's go back um, okay so we have that that's good we don't need to pass a variable over here use get and then we convert it to an array the response and then that's pretty much it let's just pass the value to the actual image variable so let's do that images then let's key images and then okay so in this part you can actually get uh, you can actually use zero one two three four or five or it depends on how much uh images you have for the product for the certain product so for example i only have one image i believe uh let's take a look all right so we have here shopify app let's open products over here let's take a look okay so uh let's use this it's actually the product that we're going to take out take out yeah that's what i mean uh we have three images so you can actually take zero one and then two that's how the keys work or the uh the array works basically yeah so let's go back to our script let's take the first image which is this one let's let's use zero over here and then another another key uh let's use src yeah src there you go let's close that make sure you close with semicolon and other one is the actual title all right so instead of displaying the title let's use the pro uh the variable title and then put the value over there make sure you get rid of the break line line breaks there you go close that and then the next thing we're going to do is to actually uh use html so let's type html there you go it's pretty much it i'm I, i'm sorry but i'm using uh a plugin for my sublime text to so you can just pause the video and then type in so i'm really sorry if i have to do that let's close the php tag there you go um uh, title shopify example app you don't actually have to put title it's not necessary but yeah let's use h1 over here and then let's close that let's type in shopify app example there you go buy a weekly help there you go and then uh, let's type in over here uh image uh, src or let's, uh, i'm sorry images shortcut there you go uh, I actually don't know which plugin is this so I don't actually know how I can uh, recommend it so if you know just please put it in the comments below so you can help as well uh, other programmers who doesn't know 
this plugin that I'm using. All right, so let's use PHP tag over here, echo, and then let's use src variable, and then let's close the PHP tag, and over here, let's type in product images or whatever you want to put in here, the alt attribute, doesn't really matter. All right, so for the weed, weed over here, let's type in 250 pixel, not just, yeah, 250 pixel, and then for the height, you know what? Let's just get rid of that. Um, let's just use style instead. Over here. So, we try to 50 pixel. There we go. Next is title. Let's use paragraph. And then let's use the PHP tag once again. Let's display title. There we go. Close that. Make sure you close. Always close. And then let's save it. Let's see the product or the app. All right, so there you go. We actually have an error. So it's not displaying the image. So I believe there's an error with that. Let's check that. So it's not actually displaying or getting the source URL. So let's go back to our script and see what's actually wrong with this script. Oh, all right. So actually, my bad. Uh, I made a mistake. It's supposed to be image. Uh, instead of SRC, let's type in images. Uh, image variable. I'm really sorry. It's a typo. I think I took this and then I just just copied SRC. Okay, echo image variable. Okay, so let's save that and let's go back to our script, our Shopify app. All right. So everything is working now. So we have here the title and then the image and then the title. So yeah, that's actually how you can display Shopify images, product images using Shopify API, product image API, and then product API. So basically what you can actually do with this is just to just gather all the data you need and then pass it to another API just so you can get another data. So yeah. I hope you guys learned something in this video. If you have questions, let me know in the comments below. You can contact us always. Links are all in the description. Please don't hesitate. We love to help out. And yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next part of this tutorial series. Thank you so much for watching once again. I'll see you next time.